Nations CBDC is hosted on a private version of the XRP ledger. Access by participants is granted by the administrator and fully secure. Using Ripple's CBDC solution, the central bank has full control over supply, allowing them to increase supply or redeem it. And through a standard API and multiple SDKs, integration into existing systems is simplified and suitable for traditional and non-traditional participants. Additionally, the central bank can issue other assets and allow participants like commercial banks to do so. The central bank can also authorize who holds the currency on the ledger, whether that's held directly by consumers or through commercial banks. Transactions typically settle in seconds compared to days, making CBDCs suitable for use cases like retail points of sale. This can open the door for real-time salary payments and collection of tax at point of sale, which gets funds to an institution or a consumer faster while eliminating debt risks. CBDC data is fully controlled and auditable by a central bank, allowing for its analysis in support of monetary policy. And the data maintains transaction privacy while still allowing for regulators to monitor for criminal activities. Finally, a Ripple-designed CBDC can provide a means to bridge disparate currencies through XRP. Its inherent interoperability can allow for connection with other central bank ledgers for efficient cross-asset and cross-border transactions. This can be done with cross-issuance, using XRP as a bridge currency or via cross-ledger communication protocols. This reduces the risk that institutions are forced to accept when transacting across multiple networks or currencies in the current system. The creation of a CBDC provides powerful benefits for the economy and people of an adopting central bank. It's technology that places trust in digital money in the hands of a central bank that can guarantee accessibility to funds and the resulting services, as is the case with cash today.